In this video, we'll be talking about bones and soft tissues, which is the next letter in the ABC mnemonic for reading our chest x-rays. So first, scan the bones and look for symmetry. You'll see ribs, the spine and vertebrae, clavicle, and both scapula and humerus. On a lateral film, you'll also be able to see the sternum in addition to lateral views of your ribs, scapula, and vertebrae. While looking for symmetry, also look for fractures or dislocations, and in some cases, you'll be able to see metastatic or lytic lesions. Take a look at this x-ray. What do you see here? It might look like a normal x-ray at first, but if you didn't specifically look at your bones, you may have missed this clavicular fracture. Let's try this one. What do you see here? If you make note of the symmetry to the glenohumeral joints, you might notice that the right shoulder is dislocated. Looking at this x-ray, it might not be so obvious, but there is a separation of the right glenohumeral joint, which could be suggestive of a dislocation. Some x-rays are a little more obvious like this one, which has both rib and a clavicular fracture after trauma. For a lot of these fractures that you catch on chest x-ray, there are also dedicated films that you could get of the affected bone or joint, which is often necessary to get the appropriate views to determine the extent of the injury, like you see here in this dedicated shoulder x-ray. Finally, don't forget about soft tissues. To illustrate how this can be abnormal, here's a normal x-ray. Now here's an x-ray with subcutaneous emphysema after a procedure. This area here is air within the soft tissue, in this case, from a chest tube that was placed. But you could also get this finding after trauma in patients with pneumothoraces. Here's another x-ray with soft tissue abnormality, in this case, a foreign body. These little pebbles you see here are from a shotgun shell to the patient's chest. And here's another gunshot wound. Notice that these metallic objects show up as dense materials in contrast to the underlying soft tissue, which should tip you off that these objects don't fit in this film, suggesting a foreign body. Here's another x-ray with foreign body. Can you guess what the object is? If you guessed a coin, then you're right. This is a pediatric patient who swallowed a coin, which is now lodged in the esophagus. You can see how helpful the pain lateral film is, in this case, when determining the location of the foreign body and determining the approximate dimensions of the object. If you didn't have the lateral film and only the PA film, you might have assumed or even thought that the circular object was perfectly round. So that's it for the assessment of bones and soft tissues. Make sure you account for all bones and their symmetry on x-ray. Evaluate for fractures and dislocations, and if you have any abnormalities, you may want to consider additional dedicated films. When assessing the soft tissues, look for evidence of possible air or subcutaneous emphysema, and make note of hyperdense materials, which could suggest a foreign body. Lastly, don't forget about the power of obtaining additional views, like your lateral x-ray, to help you give more dimensionality, especially when assessing three-dimensional objects, like we saw with the ingested coin. I'll leave you with this last chest x-ray. What do you see here? Is there anything wrong? If so, leave your answers in the comments below.